everybody's chemistry is going to be affected. But some of us have better genes, more resistance than others. There is a test that we're doing now called the APOE enzymes. And you inherit one from mother and one from daddy. And if you've got an APOE2, you have two chemicals out here that can take mercury and dispose of it. And if you're an APOE3, you have one chemical that takes a mercury and the other one just kind of doesn't do anything. So this is reasonable, but if you are a 4-4, four, four, your hands are tied behind your back. You do not have the built-in mechanism to get rid of mercury. These people should not go into dentistry. They should not be dental assistants. And if they're really interested in health, they shouldn't have amalgam placed in their mouth at all, the 50% mercury. With a new high copper amalgam that came out in 76, 50 times more mercury comes out. So does that explain why MS jumped up to 123,000? Does that explain why Lou Gehrig's disease? Does that explain why diabetes started up? Does that explain why we started seeing a lot more leprosy? Hey, that's a disease from 2,000 years ago. Uh -huh. We see that in uh, the bacterium for that. And we'll just conservatively say double digits in the root canals. In other words, more than 10% of the time. But does that give everybody leprosy? No. The trigger has to be there. And the trigger is one of the other dental materials. Which one? We're in the process of trying to find out. But there are a lot of dental materials. There are 20 different metals that are used in dentistry. Most of them are toxic. And if they cause a trigger to set off a gene in a bacteria that's just been sitting there enjoying the smorgasbord of our bloodstream coming by, all of a sudden they're active and they are producing toxins. They are stressing our immune system. And our immune system goes along for so long and then most of the people that I have talked with over the last 42 years that we've been working in this field in particular were fine the week before something happened. You know, it's like a heart attack. How long in advance do you know you're going to have a heart attack? <laughs> About that long, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, a lot of these diseases, they may sneak up on you, but when they get you, it's like being tackled in football. Hey, boom, you're down right now. And there comes a time at which your defenses get overcome by the bacterial offenses working in conjunction with the other dental materials. And if you throw nutrition into that, when I was a kid, there were 5,000 things sold in the grocery store that were called food. No, 5,000? I think there were 500. Because today, they're well over 5,000. How many new plants and animals have been discovered in the last 50 years? Not too many, not that many. Yeah. And there are a lot of things from the nutritional standpoint and from the supplement standpoint that are touted very heavily, that, hey, here is the magic cure. Very few people actually do blood tests to prove whether it works or not. And that's all I do is look at blood tests and see what changes things. And sometimes some of these companies will do a whole string of blood tests and they'll find one that does what they want to. So that's what they present to the FDA. And the others that went the wrong direction, where's the carpet? <laughs> Sweep it underneath mm -hmm. the carpet.